welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. We are reviewing episode three of the baddies, the Atlanta baddies. What's the name of this episode? It was like sit down or something? Yeah, I think it was sit down. It was like something sit down, I don't even know. Okay, so Tanisha and Sarah are fighting. So Natalie and Tanisha, wait, no wait, Tanisha and Sarah are fighting. So Natalie and Tanisha are talking. What did I even write? I don't even know what my first note is, whatever. Um, it's so boring. It's like, oh my God, it's just like, I want them to like, I want this to be over. Like, I'm like, oh my God, like cut, edit these scenes. Oh my Lord. Yeah. Um, Oh, I loved when Sarah was like, <laughs> I loved when Sarah was like, I like Tanisha. And Sydney was like, Tanisha does not like you. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. That was so funny. Um, I really feel like Tanisha only likes people that are kissing her ass or people that don't say anything about her. Because with me personally, like I never said anything bad about Tanisha and Tanisha just wants to come for me and come for me and come for me. And when we filmed episode one on the live, we you know, were just talking about it and Tanisha had said all this awful stuff about me online just that day. Like she was literally talking about me that day. And then I said, okay, Tanisha, yeah, boring as hell, blah, blah, blah. Somebody filmed that and sent it to her, and then Amber was like, well, Tanisha's mad at you again because you said something about her and somebody sent it to her. So it's like, if you say anything about Tanisha, she hates you. And I totally agreed when Natalie and Tanisha were talking later on in the episode, and it was like, I completely felt everything that Natalie was saying. Because Natalie was like, I never called you fat. And Tanisha's like, oh, you said I was fat. People are saying, I called Tanisha fat. Weren't they, what, isn't that what they were saying on the live? That people were saying she didn't like me because I called her fat? Yes. Never called her fat. Literally the same exact things that Natalie was saying, the same exact things. When Natalie was like, I never called you fat, that's not something I would say. Exact words. I never called her fat, that's not something I would say. So I 100% agreed when she was like talking about that and then you know they were they were like oh you said this about my family and Tanisha and um, Natalie was like well you talked about my family. I didn't and, do that entire argument. I was so over the argument. It was like it was like two toddlers like you hit me but you hit me first. It okay. was that entire thing did not need to be on TV. Like when they were talking about oh the things that we should do in the episodes like why was that on TV? Why was that on TV? Like why, you know, the whole thing that was so weird and boring and like we didn't care. But then also it really shows you Tanisha's personality because Tanisha so badly wanted, you know, everything to go her way. And you know, if you say a single word about her, she wants to flee the situation where I really felt like Natalie was trying her absolute hardest to make Tanisha happy and keep Tanisha there, you know? I do like that she did give her, like, at least some kind of props and hugged her and was like, you did do this. Like, that was I so touching and I could not believe that Tanisha was big enough to do that and then when Natalie was like tearing up, I was like, wow, this is like the realest thing either of these bitches have ever done on TV. I really appreciated that because I feel like no one has given Natalie the thank you mm -hmm. like you know this is a franchise like you guys made a lot of fans like it's a cult following mm -hmm. and to have someone be the only one yeah. first to make it happen because like, yeah because these girls all have huge egos and it's so hard for them to admit that someone else has done something or to even thank somebody so to see Tanisha put down her ego for a second was very refreshing. What about when Tanisha was talking to Christina and she's like, oh, I like your Gucci bag. And Christina's like, why does it matter? And Tanisha was like, all right, okay. Yeah, okay, thank you, Christina. How about when Christina came in in the middle of their conversation and, and walked by and they both were just like. I'm telling you, I love Christina. Like. I know that you never saw her season, Christina, I but I am telling you, the same 
crazy way that she's acting then and there is the exact same way she acted in her season. We did not get drug tested on my season, but we were um, not allowed to do drugs. <laughs> but I don't think any of us would have done drugs like that. We were like, if anything, it was weed. Um, did you? And I'm telling you, the same way she's acting right now is the same way she was on her show. I don't know. Maybe, like, maybe she has like, I don't know. Maybe she has a mental illness. I have no idea. I really don't know. I was not there. I'm not in her body. I'm not in her mind. But what do you think about her later on? To me, um, Natalie said to Christina, I guess that she had reached out to her ex-boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend had reached out to Natalie and then she responded and it was about her drug use. They kind of like skirted over that you know, trying to find out what you were on, something like that. That was very messy and weird. I agree, and like that's the one thing that I'm not liking that's going on is that they have all been insinuating this. Mm -hmm. And I remember like when they were doing the OnlyFans, I, I don't remember which of the girls, but they were claiming that one of the girls also had drugs in her room. So this drug thing has been like an ongoing thing. With and Christina like, or with somebody else? I don't, I can't. Was Christina in the OnlyFans? She was in the OnlyFans. Um. She was in that house. That's where her and Natalie got super close. And that's where, if you notice, when Tanisha was like, oh, that's not your your right arm anymore. Why? Because you fought. She said that because when they did that OnlyFans project, mm -hmm. Natalie and Christina were like this. like, And that's what they made it appear. Because every single time, that, and when they started doing Baddies ATL and the and the talks and they went to go the to the actual network and they have like a building. She brought Christina from New Jersey to there to be in the meetings to become a producer. So that's why uh, Tanisha was questioning her. She was like, "Oh, Natalie, like that's not your right hand anymore. Why? Because you guys fought. Like you're you're not claiming that friendship that was there. That I felt like Natalie, even though they even got into a fight, she should have been like, yeah." But we just got into a fight, and I don't feel that connection right now. But not brush it off like that never happened. Mm -hmm. I agree. I totally agree. When Judy, Sydney, and Sarah were talking in the room, did you? How did you feel about that? Because to me, watching it, I felt like it was kind of staged. Like it looked a little like it looked very staged, but. It was it was messy. It was staged. When you know what I'm talking about when Jid when Judy and Sydney and Sarah were talking, was that a fight? Like it? I don't know. I, I felt uncomfortable. I felt very uncomfortable watching that. That was um, awkward. They're saying over and over again, you need to put on your makeup, do your makeup, like do your makeup, and it just. I was like, okay. When, when Sydney was walking out and she was like, bitch, learn to do your makeup. I was like, I wish I was there. Because if I was there, I would have helped these girls do some makeup. I would have done their makeup. Do you, see my, do you see my makeup? Do you know how long my makeup took me? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I do my makeup in 10 minutes. Like, you know, I could have done all, I could have done every single one of those girls. <laughs> like, with, I was just like, girls, this is like so stupid. You know what I mean? Like, mm. Um, I really thought it was funny when Sydney, because I, I, I feel like Sydney wants to be friendly with everyone and she's very, she understands that whatever she says, everyone's going to like hear later because when she was like doing her little interview, she was like, well, I don't know what's wrong with Christina. And then they like show Christina and Sydney talking and like Christina looks like she's like on heroin and she's like smoking um, her whatever she was smoking. And it was just funny because, you know, she said she had three drinks. She's like, I had three drinks. I was tipsy. You know, did you notice that she wasn't hungover the next day? She looked hungover. Did she? Oh. She looked hungover. Hungover, strung out, who knows. When she was talking to Janelle and Seven on the balcony, she looked very hungover. What about when Seven said the comment about Tanisha falling through the floor? Oh my god. I couldn't believe she said that. Oh my girl. I don't know. Janelle is giving me a lot of shady vibes because she keeps insinuating that Tina's on something. Mm -hmm. And I know that they just thought of doing online because of that. Oh really? So, mm. Yeah. 
because Christina's like, why can't you bring this up to my face? Like, Christina has a huge problem when people do their interviews and they talk shit. Christina has a problem when people, like, are shady or talk shit in their interviews or confessionals, but then, like, in person, they're not, they're not like that. And you know what? Speaking of which, that's another thing I miss. I miss a confessional. I just remember, they don't have oh, a Oh, yeah. They should get a confessional. Yes. Right? I, I agree. They should get that. a confessional. These are two. Get a confessional, mm -hmm. guys. Okay. So, then, how did you feel about the whole fight at the end between Christina and Natalie? Or like the talk and then the fight, how did you feel? Well, you know, I don't, I feel like when you don't know someone's like personality and stuff and you can't like 100% say how or who their characteristics are because I agree with Natalie on the point that if I was trying to have a conversation with you and all I got were uh -huh, uh -huh, mm -hmm. I felt like Christina was being extremely rude. Every single thing that Natalie was saying, I agreed with. Like she's uh humming, she's like rolling right. She, she, even how she was sitting, she was like sitting very like, you know, like uh, aggressively. And I agreed with everything, everything that Natalie was saying. And it's it was interesting how when Christina was talking, she was saying that Natalie was being rude. Who did you think was being rude? Did you think it was more Natalie was being rude or did you think, I felt like Natalie was like talking down to Christina, but I think it was because, it, like, like she was a child, but I think it was because Christina was like acting like a child. Yeah, so I just 100% feel like enough time wasn't given for the situation to be de-escalated. Um, because if you would have still came in with that same angry energy, I wouldn't have even had a conversation. Because I'm gonna wait for both of us to be able to be level-headed for us to get anything done. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the beginning credits, it says that Christina's also a producer of the show. What? Everybody's a producer. My dog is a producer on the show. Everyone's a producer on the show. It's crazy. The credits show Christina and Sarah as producers and Natalie and executive producers but I think when you both have a label and people are gonna see that you both are something else to the show besides a cast member you guys should have been able to sit down and have you know a full-on woman-on-woman -woman conversation and if you felt like you couldn't because you were too angry you sit down and say I can't right now but we'll talk later when we can both be kumbaya and, and, and mm -hmm. something. but if we can't achieve that now there's no point in having this it's gonna be another fight and lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when you know someone's trigger, and I feel like anybody, anyone gets in your face, because, like, Natalie got up. Whoa. Like, I don't know what that achieves if you're trying to have a serious conversation. I know she was over it at that point, but you know the next step is going to be Christina's going to get up, Whoa. and you guys are going to fight. I so, feel like at that point, honestly, Natalie just wanted to punch her in the face. Because it really was like talking to a brick wall, you know? And it's like, she could have gotten a lot of other girls on the show other than Christina. You know, having Christina on there and then Christina being disrespectful, Christina being crazy, but like not crazy in like a people want to see it way, crazy in like a liability way. You know, here's my whole point of view on this. They got a lot of fan favorites from every one of the shows that don't have problems with each other. If to me, what would make a great show are women that were on the show and had problems with women that they couldn't fix. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna have genuine drama. You have genuine makeups if they want to make up. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you and and Leah didn't mm -hmm. leave off in the best terms. So yeah. having you two together, that'd be interesting to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. Natalie and Portia that they fought, that'd be interesting. To what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like have it be like bad girl enemies or something. Or frenemies. That would be Have a show called Frenemies and bring people from reality shows who haven't seen each other since they filmed who were frenemies and have them interact. Well, the network was trying to do that. Let me tell you, they did something called a conversation, right? Where they had um, 
like couples that were going through divorce, they would sit down and talk, and then they brought these two girls that had beef on their show of Love and Hip Hop together. Natalie, Natalie and Tanisha didn't want to do a conversation, they wanted their show instead. So that led to this whole production being made as it is right now. Oh. But like the frenemies idea would work because then you would have genuine drama. I agree. All right, so let's take some calls and yeah, let's take some calls because the show is boring. On the live I was watching the other day, mm -hmm. someone said, you know that person married Thor, right? I thought ah! it was like, yeah. Oh my God, that's so funny. All right, we are gonna call Nick. It's not Nick, he's and I K, but it's a it's a it's a chick. Okay. Hi, is this Nick? Oh. Uh, Hi, is this Nick? Yeah. Hey Nick, it's Kristen and Alex. How are you doing tonight? What's going on? Uh, so I have a question for you. Do you want to answer some questions about Bad Girl Club? Or no, um, Baddies Atlanta, season th or episode three? Awesome. So um, on episode three, when Natalie and Tanisha were talking, how did you feel about that? Do you have any thoughts? So I just feel like that was like a little bit scripted, like it seemed forced. Really? I felt like it was the opposite. I felt like if it was scripted, it would have been better. Real or not. Like, I don't know if they just made it up to give the show popularity or whatever. Yeah. But you know Natalie. Like, it is hard to deal with her. So maybe it is real, and it's like, fuck it, let's let it go for the show. Yeah. Hmm. I could see that. It's a little strange, you know? How did you feel about Judy misgendering Sydney? Judy, I watched your live the other day, and I flip flop with her too. Like in one in one minute, I feel bad for her. Like they will pick on her and shit like that. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I don't like how she was treating Sydney. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's warranted. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I always feel bad for Judy, but you can't really do anything for the girl. <laughs> yeah, I agree. We it flip flops for me too. Well, thank you yeah, so she much. Judy, like, bro, like mm -hmm. you can't do that. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like, like, just don't do that. I don't know. Yeah. No, I agree. And I flip-flop with Judy, too. It's like, I love her, and I hate her, and I love her, and I hate her. Uh, this season, or this show, you, I feel like I had, there was people I liked, and there was people I didn't like that now I like or now I don't like. You know, it, like, it makes you feel differently about them because it's not edited the way that Bad Girls Club was edited. So we're seeing them differently. And the editing really is terrible. Like, I understand this is the first season of the show, they're still working out kinks, but mm -hmm. I heard it gets better because, I don't know. I agree. <laughs> it's like a mess, I feel. I agree. I totally hope that next season is, like, way better. Well, thank you so much, Nick. We really appreciate you calling, and we really, or we really appreciate you taking our call, and we really appreciate you watching. Oh, thank you guys for calling me. It was my pleasure. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs> Adam, hi. This is Kristen and Alex, and we are calling to talk about episode three. So, hi, how are you guys? we're so good. How are you? Good, thank you. So, Adam, what, or not really what, who so far is your favorite and who is your least favorite cast member? Why? And oh why? Oh my god, you know what? It is actually so hard to choose. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna lay it out there straight up. It's Natalie. She's always going to be my favorite, hands down. I love Natalie. I mean, she's very entertaining, and I feel like I really like how the fact that they're not editing this crazy, and you can actually see that Natalie is like a normal person, you know? And she seems more level-headed than like half the girls. I understand that the producers in Bad Girls Club, I know that they do edit out and try to make it seem like this person's a certain way, and they're mm -hmm. really not. Mm -hmm. Agreed. What did you think about the whole like you know, I don't know, like the whole thing with Christina maybe being on drugs, and then you know Sydney and Janelle talking about it. Do you think that Sydney and Janelle were correct? Do you think that she was on drugs, or what did you think? 
I don't know. You know what? It's actually kind of hard to tell because then, like, a few days after, I want to say after the first episode aired, Christina, I guess, revealed that she's pregnant. Oh. Oh, so maybe she was just, um, I don't know, maybe something else. So wait, Christina... Maybe she was drunk. I mean, because she did say that she had about three drinks. I mean, yeah. She said she's a drinker. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. That's crazy. I, did, I had no idea she had a baby. Hmm. Yeah. Allegedly, she's pregnant. Allegedly, she's pregnant, Alex said. So, yeah. would, are you going to watch the next season? Will you watch season two? You know what? I, I definitely will because I am, from what I've seen in Natalie's live and what she's been mentioning, and she's actually mentioned two of your girls that were on your season, Morgan and Kat. I think Morgan and Kat would be awesome on any show. And it's kind of weird that they haven't been back because I think both of them were like really big fan favorites. And very interesting. Exactly. And, and super yeah. entertaining. Like I agree with that 100%. All right, well thank and you. I was oh, about sorry. some like mm -hmm. twins going on there. And oh, like, like, you know what? Like, you know what would be interesting? Do you guys remember that? The, oh, my battery just died. No, well, it's about to die actually. Um, but do you remember that there was two twins that they didn't even show them? They got like jumped before they got in, even got in the house. They like shared a boyfriend. That would be interesting to have them on the show. That I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You cut off. Oh, I was just saying that these two twins that were on the show, they would have been interesting to see. But we're actually, my camera literally is about to die. So thank you so much. And we really appreciate you. And we appreciate you letting us call you tonight. Oh, thank you very so much. I really appreciate, I really appreciate you hearing from me tonight. Aw. Aw, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Talk thank to you later. You. Bye. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, guys, well, we're going to wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Bye.